name is Artastic and in this video or tutorial we're going to be drawing a swan. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're gonna be drawing a lovely little swan here. We're gonna begin with the swan's head. So we're on the right side of the page, we're gonna draw a curving line or a big U shape. We're gonna bring it up and over, just like that. A little curve off the back. And then we're gonna bring out the wings. We're gonna bring it up and over. All right, we're gonna go switch back to the head for a little bit. So we're gonna tuck in the head. We're gonna wrap the neck around, so up and over. Anytime I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. Okay, we're gonna draw a little triangle on the beak and then bring it down so it's like a diamond for the beak. Fill it in nice and dark on the face. And then. Draw a line down the center. On the face, we're gonna draw a circle. In that circle, we're gonna draw one big circle and two small circles. And then go ahead and color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just the circles nice and white. Below the eye, we're gonna draw an oval for a cheek. Around the nose, we're gonna draw another circle, well, another curving line. Add a nostril. And that's gonna be colored yellow later for the variety of swan that it is. We can add some zigzag lines now on the face and down the neck to create some feather texture. And if you want to add even more detail, you can add some little lines around the eye and that's just gonna make your artwork stand out. All right, back to the wings. So we're gonna now add some curving lines closer to the body here. Bring that flight feather down and connect. And then we'll just overlap some more zigzags until we get close to the body, just like that. We'll add a tail peeking out at the back and then wrap it around at the front. Curve it in the front there and bring it back up. We're gonna have our swan. Look at a flower here in the water. So we can draw our choice of flower design. Maybe you want to add a lily pad, you sure can. And then to make water ripples around your swan, we just add some curving lines, just like that. To finish it off, we'll add detail by adding lines on the body to create more feather texture. And then you're ready to color in your beautiful swan. We're gonna start off with some yellow. Now you can follow along and color the same colors as me or do your own thing. I color that in yellow, and then mostly we just need to add a little pink to the cheek and some blue to the eyes and flower and 
much to it. You can go ahead and color in your swell the way you would like it. Using your favorite art making mediums. Once you're done, your lovely swan is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.